Welcome to ClueCore Omics Explorer. In this tutorial, we will show you how to import a raw count data matrix using the wizard. The wizard can handle a range of file extensions. Examples are tab separated text files with the extension txt and comma separated value files with the extension csv or tsv. Using the wizard, you can import normalized data as well as annotations connected to your data set. You can also import raw count data, which is what this tutorial will show. The wizard will guide you and help to define which blocks of a file are data and which are annotations. This is best illustrated with an example. This is the txt file with raw counts data that we are going to import. Here we have 12 samples as columns, sample annotations for descriptions of the samples, 50 rows of variables, and four variable annotations for descriptions of the variables. One variable annotation contains gene links. This information is necessary for the normalization. Let's start. We open the file with the Open with Wizard option from the File menu. That opens up the wizard, and we step through the wizard using Next and follow the instructions. First question, is this a raw count matrix? Yes, press Next. Next question. Select Normalization Mode. ClueCore supports three different normalization methods, TMM, FPKM, and TPM. Select the one that you want to use. Next question, select Input Mode for Future Links. Since the information about gene length is included in the file, we use the default option from a variable annotation. Press Next. Next question, select Separator. This is a tab separated file, so this is correct. Press next. Next question, matrix orientation. The rows are variables, this is correct. We can also handle transpose files with samples as rows. Press next. Select top left data cell and press next. Select top right data cell. For a data set with many columns, it might be necessary to scroll to the right to identify the upper right cell of the data. The whole data block will then be marked blue. We have now defined which part of the file contains the measured data. Next, we select variable annotation headers, include the gene length column. If you select the wrong cell, just click on it again to undo. Press next. Select sample annotation headers. Note that you're not forced to import all rows with sample annotations. Select the variable annotation that contains normalization weights. Click on the gene length column. Now we are ready to import the data. The data is now normalized and log transformed and opens up as a PCA plot. The data is now ready to be analyzed. Here we see our 12 samples. Here we have the sample annotations that we use to color our samples. In the table view, we can have a look at the underlying data, which is now normalized and log transformed. Remember to save the data. A good choice is to use the GE data format. This will make it faster to open the data set the next time. Find more video tutorials on our website. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching and good luck with your analysis.